Hello and welcome to My Digital Quill. We are looking at a worksheet called Raftex in our chapter on alignment tools. The basic concept of this is to optimize the data set within a cell and have your worksheet align with the consistency required in the numeric sheet. Before we begin though, please access the exercise file for today's video in the description link below to maximize your learning experience with us. This is wrapping text to control titles and headings in your worksheet and we will briefly review this today. Now imagine this list is going to grow or have additional columns off to the right eventually. The titles are unusually wide in column A and also in column D. But nothing truly really wrong with that though. But there's a feature found in the alignment group called wrap text. And there's another feature not so well known, part of the same alignment group, although we don't see it initially, and it's called shrink to fit. Let's point to that first. Anytime you try to find a feature that is not available in the home tab, a formatting feature that would ideally be in the category of alignment is found in the lower right hand corner. It's either that or we press Ctrl 1 to launch the dialog box launcher. Now in the alignment tab, I have shrink to fit selected, I have my cell A1 selected, and if I press OK, nothing truly happens. But if I make my cell A1 narrower, notice how the text is shrinking in contrast with its adjacent cells. Now that's the oddity about it. And it's pretty obvious though that there's a mismatch in the font size between this and text to the right. Now if we undo this to the previous setting, and another option we have is to wrap the text. And we can do this a couple of ways. Let me hold down to cell A1, pressing down control button, we go to D1, E1, and now go rep the text. Now what did it do? Well, it made your row one taller, but if I adjust my cell A1 and D1, notice how the wrap text is working for you. So wrap text is easy to work with, but it sometimes causes the text to wrap in a way that you don't want it to. For example, what we see here might not be how you want to have the text wrapped in the cell. If I make it any narrower, the wrapping will occur automatically as per the default setting in Excel. But if I want to have 2022 to go above sales estimate, I will simply go inside the cell, delete any leading spaces and press Alt Enter. And because I pressed Alt Enter after 2022, that controls where wrapping actually occurs. Now I can control my text wrapping that way with any word in my header simply by using Alt Enter button. So we can use wrap text in different way either by actually using it from alignment group button or if we are editing, editing an entry we can use Alt Enter since we don't want our columns to be incredibly wide because of a title. We can make adjustment to it easily and quickly using wrap text or Alt Enter. Also we briefly saw this feature called shrink to fit which has also a role to play in some cases.